everybody, welcome to another episode of chapter 11. Figured I'd bring you over to the corner of my room, which I don't often show, because it's an absolute mess. Um, bookshelf behind me, guitars, my makeup is just, oh my god, don't even look at it. It's awful, I'm really messy. Today I was going to talk to you about nothing in particular. Um, I haven't planned the video, as per usual. It's a snow day here. It's currently Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday. I've lost track of time. I've been off work ill, so naturally... <sighs> film a video, put on some makeup, you know, try and look presentable because for the past two days I have looked awful. What are you going to do? I know Erin and a few other people have recently been talking about their writing nooks and I wanted to do a video on a writing nook, but I don't have one. I tend to just write wherever, whenever the mood takes me. Um, I wish I had a desk that I would sit at and write, but sadly, whenever I've had desks in the past, they have just been filled with crap, like everything you see behind me. I just tend to use surfaces for awful storage space, and nothing ever stays clean and clear enough to be considered a writing desk, so I don't really have one at home. My favourite place to write has to be my local Starbucks. I think I've mentioned it before. I spend a lot of time in the Starbucks near my house. It's a second home. I know everyone there. Um, my boyfriend just started working there, so now it really is like a second home for us all. It's, it's lovely. I love it. The manager's great, all the people that work there. I consider friends. So there is a particular comfy chair that I like to get in if I can. If I can't, I'll sit anywhere. But there is, if there was going to be a particular place that I liked to write books and read books and just spend my time, it's a particular comfy chair. Um, oh god, finger in the way. Oh, I'm not doing a very good job with this. Um, yeah, a particular chair in Starbucks where I can just sit in a corner and just type type away. And I'm one of those people where when you see somebody writing in Starbucks and you are like, what is that person doing? How cool do they look? I am now that person. And it's like a life dream finally accomplished. <laughs> because, yeah. So that's my version of a writing nook. It's not a great one. Do anybody, don't do anybody. Does anybody else, the grammar here is just, it's just top form. <laughs> Does anybody else have a place that's like a writing nook, but not a writing nook in the traditional sense where you would sit at a desk and write? Because I don't think I'm the only one. Well, I hope I'm not the only one that's just really messy that they can't even keep a writing desk. I'm really, really, really messy. I'm tempted to show you what's on the floor over here. I'm going to do it. I don't know if you can sit here. Yeah. I just can't stop looking at the mess behind me. I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching. I promise at some point during this year you'll get a proper video with a proper camera from me and I will have thought of something to say rather than just filming. Off the cuff. It might happen. You never know. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.